Hello everyone. I am going to talk about multi heuristic A star. So first, in this slide, we'll see what is multi heuristic A star. So multi heuristic A star is a search in which the multiple arbitrarily inadmissible heuristic functions are considered in addition to a single consistent heuristic. Now these heuristics are used simultaneously to search in a way that preserves the guarantees of completeness and bounds on suboptimality. This enables the search to combine very effectively the guiding power of different heuristic functions and simplify the process of designing heuristic functions by a user. The reason why the process simplify is simply because these extra heuristic functions no longer need to be admissible or consistent. Here, I repeatedly use the term called as admissible and consistent. So what these terms are basically. A heuristic function is said to be admissible if it never overestimates the cost of reaching the goal. That is the cost it estimates to reach the goal is not higher than the lowest possible cost from the current point in the path. A heuristic function is said to be consistent if its estimate is always less than or equal to the estimated distance from any neighboring vertex to the goal plus the cost of reaching that neighbor. So this is basically the overview of what multi heuristic A star is. Now in this slide we will look at why are we going to use multi heuristic A star. So in the previous researches it has been observed that finding a single heuristic function that captures all the complexity of the problem is difficult. Furthermore it is hard to ensure that heuristics are admissible and consistent which is necessary for A star like search algorithms to provide guarantees on completeness and bounds on suboptimality. Algorithms using single heuristic for example A star, weighted A star highly rely on the guiding power of heuristic functions and so their accuracy is very very sensitive to the accuracy of the heuristic functions and can degrade severely in the presence of heuristic depression regions. Now this term heuristic depression regions is very important. So what are these depression regions? So the depression regions are the regions in search space where the correlation between the actual heuristic values and the cost to go is weak. If the search gets trapped into these regions, it may require expansion of most of the state belonging to the depression zone before exiting. So it is challenging for complex planning problems to design heuristic functions that are admissible, consistent and have shallow depression regions. Whereas on other side, different inadmissible heuristic functions can be easily computed to provide complementary guiding power. And along with consistent heuristic, these inadmissible heuristics can better handle complexities and this is what is done in multi heuristic A star. Now consider an example of a PR2 robot full body manipulation scenario as shown in the PPT in this slide. The PR2 robot needs to grasp an object on the table marked by end effector goal. The admissible heuristic shown in the blue line guides the search to a local minimum as the robot cannot reach the object from the left side of the table. However, an additional inadmissible heuristic shown in red line guides the search along a feasible path and therefore allows the planner to efficiently compute a valid plan. So basically the idea is that multiple inadmissible heuristics can be obtained by computing the navigation distance to different points around the object to be grasped. So this is why we are using multi heuristic A star as it can better handle complexities which other algorithms such as A star and weighted A star cannot. Now in the in this slide we will look at the difference between A star and multi heuristic A star. 
so the basic difference between a star and multi heuristic a star is that a star considers a single heuristic function whereas multi heuristic a star considers a consistent heuristics plus multiple arbitrarily inadmissible heuristic functions also the performance doesn't degrade in multi heuristic a star in the presence of large heuristic depression regions like it degrades in a star so this is the basic difference now in this slide we we'll look at the variance of multi heuristic a star and how it differs so there are two variants of multi heuristic a star one is the independent multi heuristic a star denoted by imha and other is the shared multi heuristic a star denoted by shma imha explores different heuristics independently by simultaneously running n plus 1 searches so basically one search for consistent heuristic and other n searches for inadmissible heuristics where each search has its own priority queue therefore in addition to the different h values each state uses a different g value for each search so the total number of closed list in imha star are n plus 1 for n plus 1 searches whereas in smha star the current path for a given state is shared among all the searches which means if a better path to a state is discovered by any of the search the information is updated in all the priority queues this is the difference between imha star and smha star therefore in smha star a single value is single g value is used for each state the number of closed list in smh star are two one for anchor search that is the consistent heuristic and other for inadmissible search that uh, that is the inadmissible heuristics so this these are the variants of multi heuristic a star and this is the difference between them now in this slide let's walk through the imha star algorithm before we get into the algorithm that is the procedure main let's discuss the procedure key and procedure expand state on the right hand side in this slide first of all there are two terms in the algorithm that are w1 and w2 which are responsible for controlling the sub optimality bound so basically w1 is used to inflate the heuristic values for each of the search whereas w2 is used as a factor to prioritize the inadmissible searches over the anchor search anchor search basically the consistent search so in procedure key basically it defines the total cost that is cost to come plus w1 into heuristics procedure expand state is where each state is expanded at most once for each search imh star terminates if any search have its minimum key value in the ith priority queue that is open i dot min key greater than or equal to the g value of the goal state where g value of the goal state is less than infinity otherwise it terminates with no solution when the minimum key value in the zeroth priority queue is greater than or equal to infinity as you can see in the function here open i dot min key returns a minimum key value among the state present in the priority queue if the queue is not empty else it returns infinity now in the procedure main the imha algorithm starts with the initialization of search variables for all the searches for uh, you can see in the line from line 13 to 18 
So there are total of n plus 1 open and closed lists. Gs start is set to 0, Gs goal is set to infinity and all the parent nodes that is the BP are set to null. Now further a, the best first expansion are performed in a round robin fashion from Q open I where I ranges from 1 to N as long as the condition in line 21 is satisfied. The condition in line 21 means that the minimum key value in the zeroth priority queue times W2 should be greater than or equal to minimum key value in the ith priority queue. If this check is violated for a given search then it is suspended and a state from zeroth priority queue is expanded in its place. This in turn can increase minimum key value in the zero priority queue and thus reactivate the suspended search. I mentioned a term called as ro round robin fashion. Now what is round robin fashion? It is basically an arrangement of choosing an all elements in a group equally in some rational order. Usually from top to bottom of the list and then starting again from the top of the list and so on. So this is basically the IMHA star algorithm. Now in this slide we will go, go through SMHA star algorithm. Now in SMHA star algorithm the procedure key is same as the IMHA star algorithm which calculates the total cost. In the init initialization part unlike IMHA star, SMHA star has only two closed lists instead of n plus one closed list. One closed list is for the anchor search which includes the consistent heuristic and the other is for the inadmissible search for inadmissible heuristics. Here in the procedure main after the initialization HMSA star runs the inadmissible search in a round robin manner as long as the check in line 29 is satisfied. Now the check in line 29 means that the minimum key value in the zeroth priority queue times the W2 should be greater than or equal to the minimum key value in the ith priority queue. And if this check is violated for a given search, it is suspended and a state is expanded from open zero that is zeroth priority queue. The key difference between SH, SMHA star and IMHA star lies in the state expansion method. In SMHA star, when a state is expanded, its children S prime are simultaneously updated in all priority queues. If S prime has not yet been expanded, if S prime has been expanded in any of the inadmissible searches but not in anchor search, it is only inserted in the zeroth priority queue. A state S prime that has been expanded in the anchor search is never re-expanded and thus never put back into any of the priority queues. The only exception to this simultaneous update is the optimization at line 16 which ensures that S prime is not put into the zero uh, into the ith priority queue if the key value of the state S prime in zeroth priority queue times W2 is greater than or equal to the key value of state S prime in the ith priority queue because such a state will never be expanded from the ith priority queue anyway. So, so the, uh, this is the SMHA star algorithm. Now we will look how is SMHA star algorithm better than WA star and IMHA star algorithm. Now a full body PR to robot 12D planning 
example as shown in the slide highlights the advantage of SMHA star over WA star. For cases where no individual heuristic can escape all the depression regions by itself. The task for the robot is to carry a large object through a narrow corridor and a doorway and then to put it down on a table. Now here in figure A, basically figure A shows the problem instance where blue and green figure are the start and end configurations respectively. Whereas figure B shows the vector field for a consistent heuristic computed by performing a backward that is from goal to start 2D search for the PR2 base and figure C shows how a search using H0 gets stuck as it cannot orient the end effector correctly and thus ends up expanding a large number of state at the shown position without moving towards the goal before running out of time. To rectify this, two additional inadmissible heuristics are computed by including the orientation information for the end effector on targeting the goal orientation and another targeting a vertical orientation. Unfortunately, none of these heuristics are powerful enough to take the search to the goal state as they both suffer from their own depression regions. As all these heuristics lead the search to separate depression regions, IMHA star cannot avoid any of them and perform as poorly as WA star. However, as shown in figure F, SMHA star can efficiently compute a plan by using partial paths from different heuristics. It uses the path and vertical orientation heuristics through the corridor and the door and then switches to the goal orientation heuristic to align the end effector to the goal. So this is how SMHA star is better than WA star and IMHA star. Now in this slide, we will see that sometimes SHMA star can be counterproductive. So although sharing paths certainly makes SMHA star powerful in handling nested minima, it can also be counterproductive at times, especially when the path sharing drags the search to a local minima that could have been avoided if the searches were kept separate. Consider the above example, which show a scenario with three heuristic, one consistent and two inadmissible heuristic. In this case, IMHA star terminates earlier then SMHA star as path sharing leads both the inadmissible searches towards the same local minimum. S denotes the start state and G denotes the goal state and different H values are given in the box as shown. Here MHA star runs with W1 equals to 5 and W2 equals to 2 and IMHA star does not share information among the searches which in this case results in termination after 4 expansion. In contrast, SMHA star shares the G value which in this case drags the search towards the lower part of the graph and thus delays termination. So there are a few cases where SH, SMHA star also can be counterproductive. Now how does MHA star compare with other discrete planning algorithm? So when I say MHA star, it includes IMHA star as well as SMHA star. So we can see in the table, uh, 
DSR shows the percentage of total problem instance showed by each planner. So basically, uh, these are the results for mobile manu uh, manipulation planning for PR2 robot and various algorithms uh, were compared for example WA star which is the weighted A star multi heuristic greedy best for search algorithm multi parameter weighted A star explicit estimation search algorithm and then independent multi heuristic search and shared multi heuristic search so these algorithms were compared to check their performance on mobile manipulation planning for PR2 robot so here SR shows the percentage of total problem instance showed solved by the uh, planner the other row includes the results as a ratio between algorithms marked in the column heading and the corresponding SMHA star numbers from the above table following conclusions can be drawn SMHA star and MHGBFS performs much better than WA star, MPWA star, EES. This result highlights the efficacy of using multiple heuristics over single heuristic function which often suffers from local minima due to robots orientation and presence of obstacle. Now MHA star that is SMHA, SMHA star and IMHA star are less prone to suffer from heuristic depression regions as they can converge in time if any heuristic can lead the search to the goal. SMHA star performs better than IMHA star as, as it can use partial paths. Now MHGB FS performs slightly better than MHA stars that is both in terms of convergence time however the solution cost obtained for MHGBS FGBFS are significantly worse than SMHA star so this is how the MHA star algorithm compare with discrete planning algorithms now in this slide we will see how MHA star compare with sampling based algorithms for the same task of mobile manipulation planning for PR2 robot different uh, sampling based planners were compared with MHA star algorithms the sampling based uh, planners were probabilistic roadmap uh, RRT star and RRT connect and IM, IMHA star and SMHA star. SR is the success rate, RT is the runtime ratio, B, uh, BD is base distance ratio and ED is end effector distance ratio. So all the results are presented as a ratio between algorithm marked in the column heading and the corresponding SMHA star numbers. From the above table following conclusions can be drawn. SMHA star performs reasonably well when compared to sampling based planners. Its runtime is better than both PRM and RRT star but worse than RRT connect. SMHA star's solution quality results are noticeably better than all the sampling based planners. RRT connect and RRT star can solve more number of instances mainly due to the fact that they are not bound by discretization like the discrete planning algorithms and they do not use any heuristic functions that may lead to local minima. Now we'll do a comparison between MHA star and weighted A star for 3D path planning with dual heuristics. Here dual heuristic means extra heuristic H1 inadmissible in additional to the normal H0 heuristic. The X axis in each figure shows the target suboptimality bounds and the Y axis show the ratio between candidate algorithm and the corresponding weighted A star numbers. 
the above graph following conclusions can be drawn. MH A star outperforms weighted A star on runtime by significant margin in indoor environments. The only reason is that in indoor environments, the presence of large rooms and narrow corridors frequently create big depression regions. These depression regions are better handled by MH A star. MH A star utilizes the outer radius heuristics to get away from such depression regions while maintaining quality bound using the anchor search. For low suboptimality bounds, IMH A star performance degrades a bit compared to the weighted A star due to re expansions. Anyway, MH A star provides around three times better speed over weighted A star. For outdoor environment, MH A star is most in most of the cases has longer runtime than a W uh, A star due to overhead of generating extra heuristics. So the comparative results are different for outdoor maps because the outdoor maps are generally more benign and large depression regions are rare and therefore W A star performs well. And if we compare I, IMH A star and SMH A star with each other then there is not much difference in the results as only one extra heuristic is used. In this slide we will compare MH A star algorithms with weighted A star for 3D planning with progressive heuristics. In the previous slide, we had dual heuristics. In this slide, we'll have progressive heuristics. Now, to generate inadmissible heuristics, progressive heuristics and pro progressive heuristics with guidance are used. So, progressive heuristics is denoted by PH and progressive heuristics with guidance is denoted by PG. What happens in PH and PG? In PH, First, a 2D dijkstra path is obtained from the original map. Then a check is conducted for possible bottlenecks. If the path has narrower passages, that is if the passage width is lesser than or equal to the robot's outer diameter, then those paths are blocked, which is then used for computing next heuristic. In PG, the pH scheme is augmented with an extra heuristic computed from the map with all the cells blocked but a tunnel around the large 2D map is kept empty with an intention to focus the 3D search towards the wide path. The left side figure shows an example of progressive heuristic generation. A is the original 2D path with narrow passage. B shows new path with second heuristic function pH and C shows heuristic created by constructing a tunnel around the path. On the right side, we have the results. X axis in each figure shows the target suboptimality bound. Y axis show the ratio between the candidate algorithm and corresponding weighted A star numbers. From the above graph, following conclusions can be drawn. In indoor environments, MHA star provides 18 to 2 times better runtime improvement over single heuristic A star. And the runtime results for all the algorithms are similar in case of outdoor environments. And SMHA star consistently outperforms IMHA star. What does it tell us when I say SMHA star consistently outperforms IMHA star? It tells us that the efficiency of path sharing to navigate around depression regions is more as compared to independent paths and is more robust. Now further we will look that how MHA star performs for multiple goal path planning. So these are the results for multiple goal search for simulated indoor environments. Here, two suboptimal search techniques are used to compare against MH A star. First is sequential A star, in which sequentially search, sequential search is done for paths 
two individual goals starting with goal that has the minimum heuristic value and using the best cost in previous search as an upper bound constraint for current search then second is the minimum a star which generates a single admissible heuristic for each state by using the minimum heuristic value across all goals and conduct w a star using this heuristic now mh a star ad that is consistent heuristic for the anchor search and using individual admissible heuristic for inadmissible search and mh a star inadmissible same heuristic for the anchor but using outer radius based inadmissible heuristic for the other search the comparison between all show that mh a star inadmissible has the lowest runtime in for conversions solution quality wise all the algorithms perform similar similarly the advantage of mh a star inadmissible is that it follows the multi heuristic approach as it can use outer radius based heuristic to conduct individual search and if any one of inadmissible search reach a goal state while satisfying the chosen bound it can be terminated so these were the results for multiple goal path planning and then we arrive at the conclusion so mh a star uses multiple inadmissible heuristic to simultaneously explore the search space while preserving guarantees of completeness and suboptimality bounds using a consistent heuristic the approach is simple and easy to implement and also very powerful and is useful for comp solving complex planning problems in robotics and other domains so this was the presentation about multi heuristic a star thank you and this was the work cited